This, my friends, is the Minecraft Snipper. The Minecraft Snipper is pretty great. But however, there's one little problem. No matter which farm you go to, the Snipper is always going to look the same. But what if the Snipper looked different depending on the bombs that you went to? So for a quick example, we're inside of a birch forest. And in some inventory, I've got myself a Snipper. Once I spawn in the Snipper, then its coloration is going to match the biome. Whenever it comes to the regular Snipper, I mean, sure, it looks great and all. But whenever it comes to different biomes, it doesn't really change all that much. Now this is what the sniffer normally looks like. It's red and green. And this is kind of boring. If I were to travel to a taiga biome, then it's now blue and green. Oh, and by the way, you can either be in a snowy taiga or a snowless taiga. If you were to be on any mountain biome or a frozen biome, then this is what the sniffer looks like. Now this. This is definitely one of my favorites. Its leaves are now going to be covered with snow and its main body is ice. This is pretty cool looking. If I were to travel to any jungle biome, then this is what the sniffer looks like. So basically, it's like the original sniffer, but its leaves are a bit more vibrant. Now one suggestion I would have for this is maybe of cocoa beans. Like wouldn't it be cool if there was like cocoa beans growing from the leaves? That will definitely fit in pretty well with this. If you were to travel to a swamp or mangrove swamp, then this is the coloration. This one I'm not really the biggest fan of because it's like way too dark. But it blends in with this environment pretty well. But if you wanted to get like the ugliest sniffer, then then this would probably be the place to be. Then traveling over to a savanna biome, you get yourself this sniffer. He has more of a dried out coloration. Then traveling over to the rift forest, you get yourself this sniffer. And next up, we're inside of a lush cave. And this is going to be our sniffer. This one, I definitely do like. So instead of being red, it's now purple. And the leaves are basically like the original. So I guess you could call this the female. But more than anything, this one's probably going to be the female. Because it is going to be all pink. So doesn't this look amazing? The sniffer is of a cherry grow. This stuff needs to happen. Like, seriously Mojang, why didn't they do this? It just looks like it works so well. Next up, it's gonna be the mushroom field. And this is our sniffer. So it's gonna look like a giant mushroom, but I'm definitely a big fan of this coloration. And now our final two snippers are going to take us to the nether. In the begin with, it's going to be the warp. The leaves are a bit more bluish and its red is a lot more toned down. And by going over to the crimson, this is what it's going to look like. The lower half is going to be like another brick color, while the top is going to be a bright red. But with that being said, that's going to be it for all the snippers that this pack introduces. If you do want to get this research pack, then there will be a link in the description in all it requires you to have. It's going to be Optifine or some kind of alternative. To but down below in the comments, tell me which snipper is your favorite to consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're not here. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. But for now, hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.